Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, Jersey in the building, Ben Man Real in the building. I'm excited. What's, good, What's up, man? bro? It was good, man. It was good, man. Excited to be here. Welcome good, to the show. We've been trying to set this up for a minute. For a minute. Um, I've been a fan of what you've been doing. You know, I think it's important that we let the people know about how you've created your own lane for yourself. For sure. How you are uh, an artist with a lot of different flows, a lot of different sounds. And I've just been loving the loving the movement that you've been bringing out of Jersey. It's been, it's been sure. beautiful to see. Appreciate it, for real. All love. Like, I feel like sure. you've been working on this for a minute, too. Like, I feel like this has been... Nah, like, as far as, like, 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 like club, rapping on club beats, I, I started with Heartbroken. Like, that was the first song I ever did like that. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I just kept doing it. But, like, it wasn't like I was, like, trying to make it work. It just happened. Well, I mean, like, your movement out of Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not so much yeah. the, the, the club uh -huh. beats up, but, like, the movement that you've been, you yeah, know, yeah, working yeah. on. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. I've definitely been working on that. Just, like, just trying to get it out, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Just, like, show the people, just show the world what Jersey is. Because, like, you know, everybody try to blackball. Not really blackball, but, like, when you hit Jersey, you don't really, like, it don't have that same spark when you think of a, a, a state, like, New York or, or Atlanta, you know? So I'm just trying to get Jersey that spark. You know? I love that. I actually had a Jersey club phase in in uh, college. Where? Yeah. <laughs> my freshman year of college, I had like a whole, because that's, that's um oh my God, who was making the remixes? And I would always remember, but they had the, all the remixes on SoundCloud, so the Jersey records. Yeah. And they were spinning the Jersey records at uh, like my local college, like bars and clubs, mm. shout out St. John's. Um, and I have my I have my little Jersey Club phase, so yeah. I've always had like this. Re I've always had this love for Jersey Club music too. This, yeah, this whole time, for sure. facts. Nah, definitely Jersey Club. Like, I don't know. Like, before I started doing this, I never really listened to Jersey Club. To be mm -hmm. honest with you, it was just like it's just always been a part because you hear it so much when you're in Jersey. Like, you hear it like every day. Like, you'll go to a party or like it'll be somebody around you that listen to it. So it was just like it just be there for me. But like, I, I always been like a fan though. Like of the history and shit. Did you think that that was like the first record that you did over the club beat was gonna go viral and, nah, and do all that shit? That was mad unexpected. Like it just happened on some shit. Like and then from there, I just you feel me kept going with it. How many views did it get on TikTok? Like, on TikTok, I was looking at, I was looking I at it the other like, day. I got like two point something million. That's incredible. Yeah, facts. That shit was crazy. Did you just like wake up one morning? And you're like, oh shit, like. <laughs> yeah, like nah, like Let's as soon time. as soon as, cause I had posted like a um a snippet on my Instagram, mm -hmm. and the niggas was like, nah, that shit actually hard, like really dropped that shit. I was like, all right, fuck it. And when I did that, it was like I made the TikTok with it, just like to type, kind of like promote the song on the mm -hmm. low. And then like from there, just you woke up the crazy. next morning, yeah, and it was, it was like, crazy. You're like, this is like when you see like the like the couple thousand followers, yeah, pop like up you just keep refreshing and it just keep going and going. I'm like, yo, that's a different feeling. Like, and then ever so, since then, it's just been, yeah, it's been sky's up. the limit. Sky's the limit from there. So with all these like with the so you didn't really listen to Jersey Club. It was just something that you were kind of surrounded by. Yeah. So the you hopping on the Jersey Club sound was it just kind of it was an experiment? It was just kind of like let me see what happens with this. Let me try it out. Yeah, like, it was just on some, like, just because I was talking about it with my mans. Uh, shout out Do 5. We was on the phone one day, and he was like, yo, he had sent me, like, these niggas from Philly that was, like, rapping on a club beat. He was like, why nobody ever did this in Jersey yet? And we the ones that really, like, made it. So we was just playing, but then I was like, you know what, you right. So I just went and did it on some playing shit. And then it just it just went off for wow. me. So then from there, I just kept it going. Right, and it and it's really like a, a lane that's very uniquely like yours too. Like I feel like your sound is 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 very different than a lot of the other things that we've been getting. Yeah, for sure. Cause like I don't know, like the more Jersey, like the more I rap on Jersey Club beats, it's like it's like the more I create like a, a bigger lane for it. Cause it's like I don't know, like when I when I first made Heartbroken, it was cool, but it was like I started to realize as I started to rap on more club beats that you know like. You could really do it. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. it's it's different lanes to open with it. Like you could you could melodize on a club beat. You could you feel me flow on a club beat. So it's just like you just got to treat it as like it's an actual beat. And then from there it was just I just kept going with it. I just seen the lanes that it was opening up. And like when you look at like the similarities between like 
the club, mu- the Jersey club music, and then like drill music, like it's there are a lot of similarities too because it's like how fast you're rapping, how fast the beat is. Like yeah. you see, like you start to see those similarities that I didn't really notice were there before. But like you know, listening to your music and then listening to a lot of the stuff that we got going on here in New York, you start to see those things kind of. Yeah, it's just like it's just like up tempo music, mm-hmm. you know, like that's what people want to hear nowadays. So no matter if it's club drill, everybody just want to turn up. Like somebody, I saw somebody in like somewhere in one of your videos called like Jersey Club Drill, and I thought that that was really funny. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, like, I I was I was saying that at first to be to be like funny, but I ain't gonna lie, that 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 name, that's not it. Jersey <laughs> Club mad Drill, long. it's mad long. Yeah, that's not it. That's not a good name for it. Well, I mean, I guess we got to come up with a new name. Yeah, now we got to come up with a name. Like I don't know what it's gonna be called. Yeah, it's going, it's going, like somebody gonna say it one day and it's gonna stick. But Jersey Club Drill is not it. I ain't gonna lie. That's, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. that's not it. I feel like when you say when it's when it's too many words, you're just like, yeah, ah, nobody's yeah. gonna it's ten years yeah, from now, nobody wants to say the, say it this long. Somebody just wants to call it like whether well, Jersey Drill or Jersey you know what I'm saying? It has yeah. to be something something shorter. Mm-hmm. So you were just saying that for fu- for fun at first. Yeah, I was just I was just playing with that shit. Like I I wasn't expecting nobody to take me serious when I said that. Well now you have an influence, bro. Yeah, not <laughs> yeah, but like Jersey Club j- drill, like It'd sound better if it was just club drill. Mm-hmm. Oh, club like, drill. Oh, yeah, like club drill sound better. I like that. That might be it. Yeah, club drill. Yeah, that might stick. Yeah, club <laughs> drill. That's it right there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys smiling in the back. Yeah. And like you know, with with you know the this sound being what has gotten you up here with with like the TikToks and whatnot. We can't forget. That like you are a very diverse artist at the same time. Like you've done the yeah, melodic sure. stuff. You could, ra- you could, as you said while we were just hanging out here. You're like, yo, I could rap rap, but I'm like, I know you could rap. Yeah, rap. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, a lot of people don't really like. Like I'm really, you know, I ain't really sweating if people don't really think if people think I can only rap on Jersey Club right now because that's what I want people to think. Mm-hmm. One day I'm gonna just drop some shit that's just gonna shock everybody. So it's just like right now I'm just let everything else stay in the cut. But I'm I'm really like versatile. Like Jersey Club was the last thing I started doing. Like I actually started off like on some melodies and shit. Right, because all yeah. it takes is one scroll through your Apple Music, and that's how I. Yeah. Saw, I was listening mm-hmm. to all like the the melody stuff yeah. too. Yeah, a lot of that shit is like like before Heartbroken. A lot of that shit is like oh, like I had took like seven months off where I wasn't dropping no music. I was just working, mm. like just in the studio every day, just just putting in pain, trying to find that sound. So. So you took like that seven month break just to kind of get to find yeah, just to like, like just kind of like just work on on the craft, you know, mm-hmm. just try to get better at just rapping in general. Mm-hmm. So I took that seven months and it got me pretty far. Word. I've only had like one other, I think Jersey, like no, I, I had a few Jersey artists, but I don't, I think I only had one other like Jersey club artist on my show back when I first started. Shout out, um, I think he still goes by Unicorn. Yeah, I fuck with Unicorn. Yeah, shout out Unicorn. Yeah, I, I, I fuck with Unicorn. I wasn't sure if he still goes by that, but I had him and, and DJ Fade. And we had a great conversation about Jersey Club back then. So with, with, with what's going on now, um, I guess what I'm what I'm wondering is like, so people who've been doing Jersey Club for like a while, like a long time and whatnot, have they reached out to you? Like, have you kind of yeah, had those um, conversations? Like, what's kind of... Unicorn was actually right in my, um, my last music video. He was in a heartbroken video, and he was in the um. They don't cut that video, right? Because I think I saw the behind the scenes too. I think he posted it. Yeah, as well. he um, a unicorn. He he like he like the one that like like was started as far as like rapping on on club beats. You feel me? Mm. But like me, I feel like I, I took it to a whole new level. Like I started a whole new like lane for as far as like drill rapping on club beats. You know, mm. but like it's it's like a fine line because like club. It's real different than how it used to be and how it is now. Like, it's like, before it was like, oh, the DJs, that's like, club beats wasn't as, as fast and as up-tempo as it was now. Like, it used to be more like house music. So, now it's like a, a real fine line and, um, like, the older version of club and, and the club of now. Right. DJ Taj, that's the one who was doing the remix. Oh, yeah, DJ Taj. I, I know, I fuck with Taj, too. Yeah, he was the one that had all the remixes on SoundCloud. It just came yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. But, so... I like where Jersey's music scene is at right now. Because, you know, you start to see, like, here in New York, you, you begin to see, like, the Bronx kind of go up. And then you start mm-hmm. seeing, like, you know, Harlem's getting a bunch of drill rappers. And Staten Island got some people that are really doing it. And then I'm I'm really excited for this new wave out of Jersey. Yeah, I think sure. that I think that it's really cool that, you know, um, you're having this amazing moment. But this amazing moment that you're having is also going to allow other people from Jersey to come up and also have these amazing moments, too. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, like, um, 
I definitely noticed a lot of people like rapping on club beats now, but like I don't really I don't want Jersey to even be known for like as as far as like really rapping on club beats because it's a lot of talent in Jersey, just aside from rapping on club. Right. But that's just like at the end of the day, that's what we known for. So it's like it's always gonna be there regardless. So why not? You know? Right. How mm-hmm. did you first start getting into music? Because you mentioned the mel- melodic was where you first kind of started. <laughs> Was that, were you kind of like influenced by, I don't know, like what do people say, like the eight boogies of the world? Like what was kind of like your introduction to beginning making music? Um, As far as how I started making music, like uh, my homies was making music before me. Okay. And like um, like I had, uh, for me, like a few bands, so I just opened up a stew in my, my crib. So, but it was mainly for them. Like I was just letting them record. Then one day I just was like, fuck it, I'm going to just rap. <laughs> so then... And mind you, I got 11 brothers, 10 of them rap. You have 11 brothers? Damn. Yeah, I got 11 brothers, 10 of them rap. My father, a DJ. So it's just like... Ah. Those <laughs> niggas always laughing <laughs> yeah, when I say my back. father, a DJ, cuz. But not my father, a DJ. So, like, the music shit always has been in my family. Like, my brothers to this day always tell me, like, I knew you was going to rap. I never wanted to rap. But I just I just started doing it. And then as I kept doing it, I just started realizing like a lot of natural talent that I had that a lot of other people couldn't do. Like, you know, you know, if you got a good ear for music, like a lot of people be like, don't got no rhythm when they in the studio and shit. Like everything just came naturally for me. So I just kept going. Cause I felt, I seen something in it. So came here. Out of 10, 10, 10, you have 11, 10 siblings. I got, I got 11 brothers, 11 brothers, 10 of them rap, 10 of them rap. That's crazy. Yeah, fact. <laughs> That's crazy. So you've always had that, like that, that around you, like all these different types of sounds, all these different types of yeah. Like styles. rapping was always around. Like my one of my brothers, um, my brother Kaz was in this uh this this group called So South, which was like uh they kind of had the streets in Newark when I was like eight, mm-hmm. nine. Like I used to always be around. Like and he was like he used to have his camera. So when he used to bring the camera home, I used to take that shit and just watch all the videos of like what they be doing in the studio and shit. And I just used to be fake inspired by it and shit like that. But music was always around though. So when I started doing it, it was just like I don't know, it was just like second nature. Right. The melodies and whatnot was kinda yeah. it was there for you. Yeah. And I like this, um I like how the sample stuff that's really popular over here right now and the history of samples in Jersey Club and in the hit and what you're doing right now, it's kind of like all meeting in the middle. Yeah, you know, and I think that that's a really that's really cool. Yeah, like a lot of people like say like they started the sample shit, but like if you really want to be honest, like Jersey Club is samples. Like everything, a Jersey Club is a sample. Like everything is a remix to a song or some shit like that. Like samples is Jersey Club, so it's like it really been there since the beginning. Right. Well, not since the beginning, but like, like of for a while, yeah. For, like I was, I was, while. I was 18 years old in 2014 in my freshman dorm room listening to DJ Taz remixes, yeah. on 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 SoundCloud, yeah, yeah. So it, def- so it, was it like, definitely has been there yeah, for a minute. And even like this, even I like because uh, we were talking about like doing a freestyle and like the beats that you were showing me is yeah. like the samples on it were mm-hmm. like were yeah, like sample beats. Like I fuck with like just regular beats too, but like sample beats, like when you hear a certain sample, like it just it just catch your ear, you just feel it a different way for me. Like a sample could really give you a whole idea for a whole song, mm-hmm. just cause you the way you you feel in the sample. You feel me? I agree. So. I agree. Do you want to make that crossover to to working with some artists up here in in, in New York? Or yeah, anybody I'm, that you're kind of tapped in with? Yeah, I'm, I'm tapped in with a, a lot of artists. And, um, you know, I got some shit coming with a few artists out um in New York and shit. Scott, feel me? Who we got? Who we got? Can you you can give me one at least. One. Yeah, give me one. One. Uh, maybe somebody that I've had on the show before. I don't know. Rax, you know Rax? Rax. 917 Rax. 917 Rax? Yeah. yeah, he just did yeah. a freestyle. Shout out my yeah, boy sure. Rax. Yeah, we can, we trying to get some shit done. Pop Drill. <laughs> that's it's Pop Drill, that's what he called That's his shit now. That's his yeah, shit? Yeah, Pop that's Drill, that's now. hard. That's I'll hard. Tell, yo, shout out Rax. Rax, nah, he shout actually showed Rax. me this record. I'm not going to leak it, Rax, I promise. But he got this really dope uh, Pop Drill record that's that's coming soon. Uh, and he's going crazy with the Still On To You record. Really nah, no, no cap. That shit is hard. But nah, yeah, we... Rack's been back been around since uh the heart. We was been supposed to do a song, but we've been we've been in tune for a minute though. But I've been in tune with like a lot of New York artists. Like I've been around a lot of New York artists and shit. We just gotta get it done. For me. Right, and I and I think that you're the perfect person right now to really bridge that gap. 
You yeah, know? for sure. I would love Definitely. to see like nine one seven racks. I would love, like you said, like y'all got a record. I would love to see him come to Jersey and do, yeah. like, hop on a Jersey record. Yeah, yeah, or, you know, yeah, even yeah. see like some some of the other guys out here that are doing it right now. Yeah, have them come, have them come to that Jersey world. And obviously, you know, club music isn't the only thing you made, but it would still be really cool to see you yeah. join their world and kind of see those things and also kind of show that unity, like you know, tri state shit. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Because I feel like we don't get enough of that nowadays. Yeah, like a lot, a lot of people don't really like to do the um. Like collabing so much, and mm-hmm. as far as like when I say collab, I don't mean just like collab on a beat, but like collab on the other person's sound. You feel me? So it'll be like niggas would do a beat, but it'll be like I can. It'll be like a meet in the middle. Like mm-hmm. niggas be scared to step out of their comfort zone when it come to like rapping. I guess like a good example would be um, random example. So the Blue Bucks Clan out of California. They had like Lil Yachty on a song, and then Lil Yachty jumped on like that that West Coast bop yeah, shit, yeah. and that shit was hard. Yeah, I, I, fuck, was like, I, fuck, I fuck when rappers do shit like that, just like hop on a whole different sound, but still sound like them. Yeah, you feel me? still make it, still yeah. make it work, like still sound fire, but like take it to yeah. another place that that you're not naturally from. Yeah, that's a fact. So having some New York, having some New York artists come to your world, I feel like would also would be so would be so dope nah, in bro. due time. Sure, we got a project on the way too. We're working on something right now. Definitely, right? definitely working on a project. Trying to put out probably one or two more singles and just drop a project, mm. you feel me? But other than that, that's what we're working on right now. Why you Mr. Don't Cuff That? Because we can't <laughs> cuff anything, you feel me? It's not a, even cuffing season, that's it's how you a, feeling? It's a it's cuffing season, but I'm telling you, man, these, these females is no good, man. It's no bueno, man. Why are these females no bueno for you? What have you been through? Oh, you've probably been through a lot. You you've been you've been putting up numbers, so I can only imagine actually. Yeah, man. Don't cuff that bitch, she is drag. I'm telling you. A lot of these females are strags, man. Strags, is that like a jersey term? That's a jersey term. What Put y'all me say? On. What y'all say in New York? There's a lot of things. Um legs, right? That's the one. I'm trying to think of the other one. What y'all say in New York? Smoochie. Tree. Yeah, like <laughs> the strag is like the 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 New Jersey treesh. Okay. For me, so it means the same thing. Strags. 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 What are some other Jersey lingo that we got to get hip to on this side? Um, Strags. I got to remember that. Y'all, y'all say bops over here? Bops in like what in like what sense? Same thing as Strag. Okay, no, no, no. Bops. I, I've heard people be like, oh, that record is a bop. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I never heard Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, we say bops as in like bops. same thing as Strag. Strags. Okay, I'm going to catch that in your music now. It'll make more. <laughs> yeah. It'll make a little bit more sense to me when I listen. I'll be like, oh, wait, I know exactly what Bang Man talking about. Yeah, like, it's, it's a whole lot of shit I can say up here that you won't, un- like. That's fine. I want to I want to hear that shit because I want to I wanna like, get what's, what's some funny shit because uh, <laughs> she going to bop the socks. <laughs> that means she going to suck us off. Like it's just it's a whole lot of like different lingo that we like. No, I hate when people be saying like, like Jersey and New York is the same because we really not like. As far as like where I'm from, I'm from Newark. For right. me, like so, the way we talk is nowhere near how New York talk. For me, like we talk way different. But I always be saying in, like the comments and shit how niggas be saying like Jersey want to be like New York and saying it there, but we really don't do anything alike like at all. I feel like I it's feel like, a few similarities, though. Yeah, no, of course there are a few similarities because we're so close. But I do feel yeah. like the people who I do know from Newark, um, I could tell, like, I see the differences between them and like people like myself yeah. and other people from New York. Yeah. Different energy, different lingo, like you said. Yeah. Different, like I don't know, it, it, it is different. I just feel like you know people online will like to talk. Yes, yeah, that's all they do. With the project, so is it going to be club beats? Is it going to be come some melodic stuff? You going to be giving people bars? Like what? What? What are we kind of feeling out right now? Um, the people want a club project so i think that's what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna do a club project but it might be some melodic club shit up there you feel me like right it's just we're gonna see where it go when can they okay so two more singles so maybe by the end of this year top of next year yeah probably end of this year top of next yeah top of next year real soon though i'm gonna get it out as soon as possible word but uh, i guess already like 80 percent done dope well i'm excited for it uh, I appreciate you being here with me. I'm looking forward to everything you got coming. Uh, keep putting on for Jersey. I'm very excited sure. to see what you do and how and how far you take this new movement. Uh, anything else that people got to know before we sign off here for the day? Um, don't cuff that bitch. She a strike, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. These bitches is box. But nah, it's the fucking band, man. You heard? Free night, long live D. Lo, South shit, man. Newark, Jersey, we in this shit. You heard? I got this shit on my back. I love y'all. 
There you go. Jersey in the building. Batman Rail in the building. Project on the way. Till next time, my guy. Sure. Appreciate you, bro.